The Russian Federation is an incredibly diverse place, which shouldn't come as a surprise since it's a country that spans over two continents. However, this also means that it's pretty hard, if not impossible, to properly get acquainted with this fascinating country. For instance, I'm pretty sure you haven't heard about the province of Amur, an oblast of the Far East. Well, now's your chance to learn about it. Hello and welcome to 7 Facts. Home to 830,000 people, Amur Oblast is a place few people in the West have heard of. It's way, way back in the East, and yet it's mostly a society of European descent. Bitterly cold in the winter, warm enough in the summer, Amur is not exactly a magnet for tourists, which is actually a shame. It's bigger than Germany, but with very few people actually living in it, so most of its natural landscapes are still pristine. So. Without further ado, let's dig in and see what fascinating facts we can find about Amur Oblast. For a long time, the area of Amur belonged to semi-nomadic tribes. The Mongolic Shiwei and later the Manchus were the main ethnic groups inhabiting these lands, regardless of their overlords. That all changed in 1858. It was then that the Chinese Empire gave up Amur in favor of the Russian Empire. It has to be noted that Amur switched hands between these two several times before, but in 1858 these borders became permanent. Almost immediately Russian settlers came in looking for a more temperate climate than in the north. The influx of Russian ethnics saw a major surge upon the completion of the Trans-Siberian Railway. This completely changed the demographics of the region. Today, 97% of the oblast citizens are either Russians or of other Slavic descent. Blagoveschensk is the capital city of Amur. Although Russian settlers had lived here as early as 1644, Blagoveschensk, which means the city of good news, was established in 1856 as a military outpost. It sits on the north bank of the Amur River, right on the border with China, with the Chinese city of Heihe lying across the river. The city has a rough history, having been the site of several Russian-Chinese skirmishes, pogroms against Chinese ethnics, and even a Japanese occupation during the Russian Civil War. Nowadays, Blagoveschensk is a much calmer place, focusing on trade and economic growth. Right now, the city cooperates with its former enemy, looking to create a joint urban agglomeration with the Chinese city of Heihe. Before we get to the next fact, I'd like to ask you something. This video isn't sponsored, so perhaps you'd consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. If you still enjoy my content, go visit my Patreon page and help this channel out. And with that said, let's go to fact number 4. Ok, so here's one fact I'm sure you won't expect. Amur is Russia's brand new gateway to the heavens. The Vostochny Cosmodrome is the country's newly built spaceport, created to reduce Russia's dependency on the old Baikonur Cosmodrome, which was built during Soviet times but now lies in Kazakhstan. Vostochny, which means Eastern in Russian, already had several launches, although it's still partly under construction. Along with the launch pads and processing facilities, an airport and a satellite city will be constructed. When fully completed, Vostochny will be the most modern Russian launch site capable of sending humans into outer space. If you fancy visiting Amur, there are of course several ways you can get there. But none will compare to the experience only the Trans-Siberian Railway can offer. This railway, nearly 9,300 kilometers long, runs through some of the most isolated, spectacular and diverse places on Earth. It is one of the most sought-out itineraries for adventure travelers. And without a doubt, this is the best way to get to Amur. While Amur has a gorgeous landscape to explore, you'll definitely want to dress for the occasion. Especially if you dare to visit in winter. The average temperature in January hovers around minus 24 degrees Celsius. That's in the south. Go up further north and you'll encounter temperatures below minus 33. Winters are pretty dry though, 
It's the summer months that get the vast majority of precipitations, so you don't want to go to Amur to get a tan. And besides, average summer temperatures are around 21 degrees, so it's not exactly a tropical atmosphere. In the beginning of the 1920s, Amur wasn't a part of Russia. Back then, it belonged to the Far Eastern Republic, a state that was technically independent but in fact was a puppet state of the Soviet Union. The primary role of the Far Eastern Republic was that of a buffer state between the Soviets and Japanese-occupied territories. This was a troubled country with frequent outbreaks of violence, but it was technically a democratic state that even had a constitution resembling that of the United States. However, once the Russian Civil War was over in October 1922, the Far Eastern Republic, including Amur, was reabsorbed into Russia. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Leave your comments downstairs and don't forget there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye.